Bucknutters and welcome into the Morning 5 on June 2nd, 2014. I am Dave Biddle. It was a huge recruiting weekend for Ohio State. We're going to break it down for you on today's show. O-H-I-O. Unfortunately, the weekend started on a down note when Lakewood St. Edward cornerback Sean Crawford canceled his visit to Ohio State and subsequently committed to Notre Dame. Crawford originally committed to Michigan and grew up a big fan of the Wolverines, but decommitted last month. This is a nice get for the Fighting Irish, as Crawford is ranked as the number 9 corner and the number 103 player overall in the nation in the 2015 class, according to the 24-7 Sports Composite. He's also ranked as the 6th best player in Ohio. So it's not a huge loss for the Buckeyes, but it's still a loss. However, talking to some people close to Crawford's recruitment, don't be surprised if he gets wandering eyes one more time this fall, especially if Ohio State is having a good season and Notre Dame is struggling. That being said, I do think he will sign with the Fighting Irish in the end. A lot of Ohio State fans were upset about the Crawford situation, but feelings in Buckeye Nation quickly turned around on Saturday when good news started to pour in. The Nike football training camp was held in Columbus on Sunday, and our Alex Gleitman has intriguing items on three big-time recruits to pass along to you. The first would be on Jay Sean Cornell, the defensive end out of Minneapolis, Minnesota. Now has the Buckeyes in his top group, top three. Word is the Buckeyes might lead after his visit. He really enjoyed his time with Larry Johnson and Urban Meyer. He mentioned that maybe Michigan and Penn Penn State could be in that top group with the Buckeyes. Steve Wilfong was the first to put his crystal ball in for Ohio State. Both myself and Bill Kerlick have done the same. So right now, uh, Cornell's probably a guy whose recruitment is a little bit fluid, but the Buckeyes are looking good. Second point, real quick, Justin Hilliard, who was thought to maybe make a decision later in the process, announced that he will make a decision in late June or early July. I do think this bodes very well for the Buckeyes, as Hilliard's coming off an outstanding visit to Columbus. Both of his parents seem to be more comfortable with Urban Meyer and Ohio State, and the fact that he is very tight with Raquan McMillan and incoming freshman Sam Hubbard. Finally, last point, Damian Harris running back from Kentucky. Uh, Word out of Columbus NFTC is that Ohio State still is on top for his services. The Kentucky Wildcats and Michigan Wolverines, where he was previously committed, are also in the mix, as well as some SEC schools in Florida, Alabama, even Auburn, and then Florida State. Thank you, Alex. Landing Cornell, Hilliard, and Harris would be huge for the Buckeyes, and it appears as though they are in good shape to land all three. Speaking of Cornell and Hilliard, they learned on Sunday that they earned invites to Nike's best of the best camp known as The Opening. And don't be concerned about Harris not receiving an invite. He was unable to compete at the NFTC due to minor elbow surgery. O-H-I-O. For much more on the NFTC, Bill Kerlick has several updates for subscribers in his What I Am Hearing column that is already on the site. Bill goes in-depth on OSU quarterback commit Joe Burrow helping recruit for the Buckeyes, including Burrow's close relationship with tight end Chris Clark. In fact, Clark told Kerlick that he was, quote, a little nervous that Ohio State wouldn't have a quarterback that could throw well from the pocket in this class. Now that the Buckeyes have Burrow, Clark is very interested once again. The number five wide receiver in the country, Christian Kirk, tells Kerlick that he's also paying close attention to the quarterbacks each of the schools on his list are getting commitments from. According to Kerlick, Kirk will release his list of top schools later this week. Ohio State is expected to make the cut, but most analysts feel that Kirk will wind up at Texas A&M in the end. To read Bill's What I'm Hearing column and the rest of our premium content on Bucknuts, you need to be a subscriber. If you're not a subscriber, this is a great time to give our free trial a test drive. Later today for subscribers, Bill will have a video interview with defensive tackle Neville Gallimore, who is ranked as the number one player in all of Canada. Bill will also have stories on Darius Fullwood, who is ranked as the number 19 weak side defensive end in the country, and Jake Hosman, who is ranked as the number 6 tight end in the country in the 2016 class. You'll want to make sure you keep it locked to the front row message board today because we'll be talking recruiting all day. One of the topics we'll be discussing is that the final regional of Nike's Elite 11 camp will be held today at Ohio State. The camp will feature Burrow and another Ohio State quarterback commitment, Danny Clark of Maslin, Washington. Clark is a member of Ohio State's 2017 class, and it'll be interesting to see how the sophomore-to-be looks at today's event. We'll also be curious to see how Burrow performs against some of the top competition in his class. Interestingly, one of the quarterbacks in attendance will be Alex Malzone, who is a 2015 prospect committed to Michigan. Who will look better between Burrow and Malzone? That's one of the many topics we'll be chatting about on the front row today. Thank you for joining us for the Morning 5. I hope everyone has a great day. Take it away, best damn band in the land.